In the hazy tapestry of television memories, there exists a moment suspended in time. A moment that first introduced us to the captivating world of the 1982 TV series, TJ Hooker. Do you recall that serendipitous encounter when the glow of the screen seemed to beckon you into a realm where crime fighting met character development in a symphony of blue uniforms and police sirens? Perhaps it was the enigmatic charm of William Shatner as the titular TJ. Hooker or the adrenaline-pumping pursuit scenes that left you on the edge of your seat, heart-pounding with each chase. And oh, those moments that remain etched in memory. Can you summon the thrill of witnessing a young Heather Locklear in action, breaking barriers and stereotypes with her portrayal? Or do you fondly remember those gripping standoffs that kept you guessing until the very last second? Each episode was a tapestry woven with suspense, camaraderie, and a touch of nostalgia. Now, let's dive beyond the surface and explore the hidden gems of this iconic show. Delve into random facts that add new colors to your perception, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes, the unsung heroes who contributed their talents, and the intriguing trivia that even the most dedicated fans might have missed. Peel back the layers of nostalgia and embark on a journey to discover the lesser-known aspects that make TJ. Hooker a timeless classic. So, as we venture forth into the annals of television history, prepared to be amazed by the intricate web of details that have remained hidden in plain sight. Let the allure of TJ Hooker guide us as we unravel these fascinating revelations, breathing new life into our memories of a show that defined an era, and an era, and an era. In the realm of 1980s television, one show shone brightly, TJ Hooker. While it might be easy to overlook the subtleties amidst the action-packed scenes, an intriguing pattern emerges when one delves deeper into the series. Notably, there's a distinctive lack of sunglasses sported by characters across episodes, except for Anne Perry's appearances in T.J. Hooker, Blind Justice, the titular characters donning in T.J. Hooker, Bigfoot, and a mystifying exception in T.J. Hooker, Psychic Terror, where the character was sightless. Such nuances add layers to the show's dynamic. Yet, it's not just the eyewear enigma that sets TJ Hooker apart. A closer inspection reveals a recurring sequence of misfortunes befalling the main characters throughout the show's run. TJ Hooker's ill-fated fate seems tied to his shoulder as he's repeatedly shot there, though a dramatic departure comes in TJ Hooker, Psychic Terror, where the bullet finds his chest. Vince Romano's encounters with head injuries consistently lead to either concussions or temporary blindness. Meanwhile, Jim Corrigan's tumultuous relationships often entwine with the antagonists, ending with the ex-lover's arrest or demise. Stacy Sheridan's undercover escapades rarely go as planned, typically resulting in her capture, such as in TJ. Hooker, tracked down in TJ. Hooker, a call. Delving into the show's cast changes in Milestones reveals a captivating web of developments. T.J. Hooker, second chance marks Stacy Sheridan's departure, a poignant event coinciding with Heather Locklear's 21st birthday. Officer Jim Corrigan's genesis occurs in T.J. Hooker, Payday Pirates, though keen-eyed viewers might recall James Darren's earlier cameo as a different character in T.J. Hooker, King of the Hill. In T.J. Hooker, the lipstick killer, Lieutenant Pete O'Brien steps onto the stage, his backstory intertwined with his paralysis. Interestingly, he also stars in The Terminator, filmed concurrently with T.J. Hooker, Deadlock. The poignant farewell of Captain Sheridan arrives in T.J. Hooker, Anatomy of a Killing. While a subtle tidbit emerges, Fran Hooker's relocation to Oregon, hinted by their daughter in T.J. Hooker, The Ransom. As the reels of time unwind, the multifaceted layers of TJ Hooker come into view. From the enigmatic sunglasses saga to the recurrent calamities and intriguing cast metamorphoses, this 1982 series transcends its cop drama exterior. Its storylines hold a mirror to life's complexities and interconnections, inviting viewers to glean the nuances that lie beneath the surface. In the world of television, few shows manage to interlace subtlety and drama quite like T.J. Hooker did. In the world of 1982 TV series T.J. Hooker, one particular detail sets its titular character apart, his name badge. While officers sported customary badges with a single initial followed by their last name, T.J. Hooker stood unique, displaying both his first and middle initials before his last name. This subtle distinction underscores his exceptional role in the force. Amid the urban drama of law enforcement, 
the officers' uniforms remained a steadfast visual signature. Throughout the series' run, the officers, including Hooker, adhered to a consistent attire, long-sleeved shirts paired with ties, complemented by heavy jackets during the colder months. A notable absence, however, was the conspicuous lack of short-sleeved shirts or uniform hats. This unwavering choice in uniform highlighted the show's dedication to realism, mirroring the attire of real-life officers in their daily service. A curious alignment of historical events occurred on the day that T.J. Hooker, the Lipstick Killer episode aired. Not only did this episode grace the screen, but it also coincided with the birth of Max Reynold, a talent who would later make his mark in the entertainment industry. Intriguingly, this significant day also marked the creation of a new area code, arising from a split. This convergence of dates adds an unexpected layer of interconnectedness to the series' legacy. As TJ, Hooker continues to captivate audiences with its stories of crime and commitment. These intricacies serve as reminders of the show's meticulous craftsmanship. Whether in the nuanced details of character identification, the consistent portrayal of uniforms, or the uncanny alignment of historical moments, the series leaves an indelible mark on the landscape of television. The vision, the vision. In the realm of 1980s television, one show that graced the screens with its iconic presence was none other than T.J. Hooker. Led by the charismatic William Shatner in the titular role, the series followed the life and adventures of a tough-as-nails police officer. But beyond the arresting plots and crime-fighting drama, a lesser-known aspect of the production added an intriguing layer to the show. Standing tall at 5 feet 9 inches, William Shatner's presence on set was no secret. In a fascinating twist, the producers seemed to employ creative camera work to maintain a carefully curated visual balance. Notably, they ensured that all the regular cast members were equal or shorter in height than Shatner himself. For the taller guest stars who occasionally graced the episodes, meticulous attention was paid to angles, separate shots, and situational setups, all designed to draw minimal attention to Shatner's actual height. But beyond the smoke and mirrors of cinematography, the show's characters had their own hidden depths. Jim Corrigan, portrayed by Shatner prior to joining the LCPD, emerged as a multifaceted figure. A former member of the San Francisco Police Department, Corrigan's enigmatic past was enriched by a surprising hobby, moonlighting as a race car driver. This unexpected detail not only added complexity to his character, but also provided a window into his daring spirit. Further peeling back the layers, it's revealed that Corrigan was not just a man of action, but also a man of languages. Fluent in Spanish, this linguistic skill came to light in a particular episode titled A Kind of Rage. Corrigan's ability to navigate linguistic boundaries showcased a side of him rarely seen amidst the adrenaline-pumping police work. Interestingly, the creative mastermind behind TJ, Hooker, Rick Husky, had an unwavering vision for the show's central character. Husky's determination was clear. Only one actor was fit for the role of T.J. Hooker, and that actor was none other than William Shatner. This conviction not only solidified Shatner's place in television history, but also shaped the trajectory of the show itself. In the annals of television history, T.J. Hooker remains a standout emblem of 1980s crime drama brought to life by the convergence of intriguing character choices and innovative camera work. The series serves as a testament to the dynamic interplay between creative vision and the art of production, leaving an indelible mark on the era's entertainment landscape. 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 T.J. Hooker unveiling the evolution of a TV classic in the bustling landscape of 1980s television. Few series captured the essence of crime fighting and camaraderie like T.J. Hooker. Debuting in 1982, this show not only introduced audiences to the gritty world of police work, but also showcased the enigmatic William Shatner in a role that left an indelible mark on the small screen. Initially conceived as The Protectors, creator Rick Husky had envisioned a show reminiscent of his earlier success, The Rookies. However, as fate would have it, the show's trajectory shifted. The pilot spotlighted the ever-charismatic William Shatner, leading to a pivotal decision that steered the show in an unforeseen direction. Rather than an ensemble cast, T.J. Hooker emerged, centering on Shatner's portrayal of the titular character. The show's title mirrored this shift, in homage to the resilient and determined character he brought to life. 
Interestingly, TJ, Hooker marked a second instance where Shatner's on-screen moniker featured a pairing of the initials J and T famously known as Captain James T. Kirk in Star Trek. Shatner's new persona, Thomas Jefferson Hooker, continued this alphabetical pattern. Such a curious alignment of initials hints at an intriguing connection between the actor and these fictional personas. However, the overlap doesn't end there. Notably, both Shatner and Lee Bryant, a co-star from TJ, Hooker, shared a peculiar yet fascinating parallel. Both actors portrayed panic-stricken airline passengers in other prominent works. Bryant's memorable role in Airplane as a distressed traveler mirrors Shatner's appearance in The Twilight Zone, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. Moreover, Shatner's airport encounters didn't halt there. He also made an appearance in Airplane 2, the sequel. As the years have passed, T.J. Hooker has solidified its place in television history, serving as a bridge between different eras of crime drama and showcasing the multifaceted talent of William Shatner. From its inception as a potential ensemble series, to its transformation into a Shatner-centric narrative, and even its unexpected connections to other works, the show remains an emblem of 1980s television ingenuity. Remembered for its evolution, its enigmatic lead, and its uncanny intersections with other realms of pop culture, T.J. Hooker endures as an exemplar of its era. As we bid adieu to the world of T.J. Hooker, let the memories of police sirens wailing and crime-fighting camaraderie linger like the echoes of distant streets. Whether you joined Officer Hooker and his dedicated team from the very first episode or discovered their adventures in the hidden corners of streaming platforms, the imprint of this 1982 TV series on our hearts is undeniable. Think back to those suspenseful moments when the line between justice and danger blurred and the character's struggles mirrored our own. Through the gritty streets and neon-lit alleys, we journeyed together, feeling the pulse of the city and the beating hearts of our beloved heroes. Did T.J. Hooker ignite your fascination for law enforcement and noble pursuits? Or did you find yourself captivated by the charismatic William Shatner and his portrayal of a seasoned cop? Perhaps it's the blend of action and drama that still lingers in your mind, a testament to the show's timeless appeal. As we wrap up this journey, I invite you to share your cherished memories, personal reflections, and anecdotes that link you to the world of T.J. Hooker. Unleash your thoughts like the crackle of a police radio, letting the stories flow freely and intertwine with the tales of Hooker, Romano, and the crew. Your words, like badges of honor, will create a living tribute to the show that graced our screens. Thank you for taking the time to delve into the nostalgia and embrace the spirit of T.J. Hooker. Your connection to this series, forged through the passage of time, is a testament to its enduring impact. Until our paths cross again in the realm of storytelling, keep those memories alive and the conversations flowing.